folks, how are we doing? Welcome back to the channel. I've not posted in a little while. I've not done a, a vlog in a little while. The reason being is I've had some gutted, gut, uh, some gutting news is I won't be competing in the Glasgow High Rocks um, on the, the first weekend of March. Reason being, I have torn my MCL. I've tore my meniscus. I've got a bucket handle tear in my meniscus and yeah, I just need to basically go and see the orthopaedic surgeon, see what's what, and take it from there. So, not been training much recently, not been doing much high rocks training recently, so I'm pretty gutted about that. So, I've really, I feel like I've had nothing really to, to share with you guys in terms of training and me like absolutely beasting it in training. The great thing is with the, the MCL tear is that I can still move in a straight line. So. The knee can still move in a straight line, but it means that I need to be really careful when I get tired. I don't allow my knees to either collapse in the way or also deviate out the way. Um, so that's been something that you know I've just had to be. I basically had to tail back the intensity of workout so that I can really focus on making sure. I, you know, it might be a, a blessing in disguise where you you know you're really focused on your form, bringing things back right to the basics and making sure that you're moving really, really well. So that's that's something that I've been having to focus on over the last couple of weeks. Hence why no, no training updates so far. Uh, Cause I've also been a bit, like at the end of the day, I feel a bit low, you know, I feel a bit down that, you know, you, you work really hard, you work twice a day, uh, you know, you work out twice a day and you put your whole self into something, but you know, sometimes shit happens and that's, that's the, that's just that's just sport at the end of the day. You, you're gonna you're gonna get some knocks. You're gonna get some bumps and bruises. But you know we wake up, sun rises the next day. Have a little cup of coffee, and life's good. You know. So today we're gonna start with a CrossFit workout. We are gonna go and do. I think on the cards we have ten a ten minute EMOM of five power snatches. Power snatches. I think power cleans and the push jerk five times within a minute. 10 minute EMOM means every minute on the minute. So you'll do five touch and goes. If it takes you 20 seconds, you get 40 second rest. Then we'll, we'll carry on for those 10 reps. So it's 50, 50 power cleans and it push you. So it's all about cycling that bar and getting familiar and getting comfortable with making sure that bar's moving in a nice way as we, we get into the, the sort of the CrossFit Open as well. Um, and then after that, I think we'll get a wad. It's 75 squats. 25 push-ups, 50 wall balls with 9 kilograms to 10 foot. So RX High Rocks uh, Pro stuff. And 25 push-ups and 75 squats. So that'll be a little wad for after the, the push jerks. So yeah, I'm just gonna have a little cup of coffee. I'm gonna give Simba a little treat after his breakfast. This right here, folks, this right here is cat crack. It is freeze-dried chicken jerky, but it makes them purr, makes them froth at the mouth, and <laughs> it makes his tail puff up like a, a squirrel or a fox. But I'll, I'll show you that. Jimmy! Watch this, he's coming. Oh, what's this? What's daddy got you? Eh? <gasps> Who's that? Who's that on the camera? Eh? Look. Look at his wee tail, man. It's like a fox. Look at it. Jesus. He's dribbling all over me. Come here, you. What's this? A wee treat after breakfast? Good boy. Right, gonna go digging? Go dig, 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 dig for it. Go, dig. keep digging, dig, dig, dig. Right, boom, boom. Good boy. That's a good boy, oh my God. His saliva's all over me. There we go. Look, what's that, what's that, what's that, what's that? <gasps> yeah, look at your, look at your slivers all over daddy, eh? Then just watch daddy's knee there, he's got stuff on there. Don't touch that, don't touch that. So yeah, we're gonna I'm gonna take you to CrossFit. Mwah, look at this guy. See how you see how you the camera, Simbi. This little boy, he is eight years old. And he's from America. I actually got him when I was on a scholarship. 20 we got him in 2016, but I, I left the UK, I think in 2015, uh, to go over on the full scholarship. Uh, for my running achievements and we we got them from a little crack then and the lady wanted the lady wanted to just basically give the litter away for free on Facebook but then when we we turned up to you know take one of the the, the little uh, kittens 
she had asked for like 50 bucks and we saw Simba and he had like a little bad eye and he had a, a little respiratory infection and ringworm and we thought he might not make it through the this was I think around October time October November um, and it gets really really cold in Colorado so we uh, we took him the run of the litter and yeah eight years ago we got a, he's got he's got a pet passport he he had to get all his injections and all that from like an international vet approved veterinarian to be able to come like fly in a plane come back to London and be with us here so you know he's my absolute he's my little fur baby I've always got him on my social media um, honestly he's just he's the best thing ever um, I know that some people are dog people some people uh, don't like cats but you know he's kind of like a little version of like a cat and a dog um, he's got a nice personality and he always loves to be around people as well which is really cool whereas most cats they like to be quite isolated you can see that he just wants to be around even though obviously I get the treats but he does like to be around people all the time which is really really nice and he's super soft super friendly and he's a purely indoor cat as well purely home cat because you can increase the life expectancy I think the average life expectancy of a, an outdoor cat is about four years old but then with an, uh, uh, an indoor cat, you actually, they can live up to like 20 years, 18 to 20 years old. So hopefully I'm going to have this little guy for another 12 odd years. Hey, Simbi? Hey? Good boy. So yeah, guys, we're, uh, we're going to go to CrossFit. I'm just going to finish off this coffee. We'll get ready and we'll get going. Um, the most important thing today is for me is to make sure, stay sensible, numero uno, and don't blow this knee up because yeah we can't we can't be having any more setback if I wanted to heal you can, a, a meniscus can heal and a, a MCL can heal as well it can the meniscus will take longer than the MCL um, depending on where the location of the, the, the tear is it's a bucket handle tear it seems to be like quite big but it's it but this the the physio said that it actually looks as if it happened like years ago um, and I've been able to work out with it no problem it's just that I've done something to the MCL uh, because I had a, a little hamstring problem so if I strengthen up the hamstring it will then take pressure away from the MCL and then hopefully that meniscus can stay you know just stay less angry until maybe you know after the world champs high rocks I can then maybe go and get some surgery or whatever but yeah got to take them knocks so all right I'm gonna get ready and I'll take you to I'll take you over to Blitz all right Simba say bye Simba Stop digging. Say bye. Simba. Simba. Say bye. Bye, guys. Bye bye. <laughs> you wee poser. You look at yourself there. <gasps> look at you. Shawty catch the vibe, I ain't had to put her on Bought a two-seater, yeah, we headin' for the sun Shawty going high, I ain't trippin' for the fun Yeah, I won't start, I ain't trippin', I'ma stun Oh, oh, livin' lively Everybody tryna ride my wave, they can ride me Pull up in a foreign to the curb, lookin' icy I ain't never stressed about a fit, I'ma hype it I want more friends, it's a problem I been living like a king since I hopped in Yeah, my foot is in the bins, yeah, I'm riding with a gang Yeah, I hit a hot lick, I'm the top shit Two-seater, it's a beam and more than 100 racks BB's like a fina, I be iced, I don't ever cap First name deal, I got my back, yeah, we all the mat Ice cream reefer, hold it up, yeah, we feeling gas Driving with a towel, going 100, ready, flow it up Riding with my shawty, yeah, I knew I had to flow it up Looking like a bottle, shawty bad, yeah, she know what's up Looking at the stars, that the stars, I don't fuck it up Shawty catch a vibe, yeah, I had to put her on Bought a two-seater, yeah, we heading for the sun Shawty going high, I ain't tripping for the fun Yeah, I won't start, I ain't tripping, I'm a stun Oh, oh, living lively Everybody tryna ride my wave, they can ride me Pull up in a foreign to the curb, looking icy I ain't never stressed about a fit, I'm on high beat
I've been sliding out even as hit the dash, dash. Shorty know I only care about the cash, cash. Big bands, big sticks, big racks. She asked me how I got it, said I got a like that. I get it when I want it, smoking marijuana. Keep it hotter than the sun, smoking till the sun up. They asked me if I have bands, I said bring your funds up. They tested me to a challenge and they didn't show up. Where they at? How about at your party and I got the stick tuck? You just walked down your skateboard looking like a dumb fuck. Mama told me get a bag and I said run it up. With the naughty and a jack, but I need a bench truck. I need real cheese, big ass peso Don't fuck with me, or this fucking bankroll Got a 4.0, GPA on the road Beating up and down the freeway, didn't pay a single toll If you fuck with my money moves, I'll make it rush for the vent I'll make all of these niggas mad, they might scream and cry and vent I might stack up a hundred racks, and buy me an elephant I might send you another fact, could you tell me if it's sent? Hop inside an Audi, then I did the dash, dash Shorty know I only care about the cash, cash Big bands, big sticks, big racks She asked me how I got it, said I got a like that I get it when I want it, smoking marijuana Keep it hotter than the sun, smoking till the sun up They asked me if I have bands, I said bring your funds up They texted me to a challenge and they didn't show up Didn't show up, I'm knocking at your door, I Taking meds till I pass out on the floor, right? If a nigga step up, I say goodnight Written on the ground and chalk, all that off-white Put you right up on a shirt I'll be damned if I never put in work You a broke ass bitch, your pockets hurt And I carry an Uzi no vert, chillin' in a jacuzzi My way Now I'm the dash, revin' down the highway Only care about the cash, what the fuck can I say? I've been waiting for the blow up, call me Pompeii Hey, hop inside an Audi, then I did the dash, dash Shorty know I only care about the cash, cash Big bands, big sticks, big racks She asked me how I got it, said I got it like that I'll get it when I want it, smoking marijuana Keep it hotter than the sun, smoking till the sun up They asked me if I have bands, I said bring your funds up They texted me to a chunk, and they didn't show up Yeah. Ooh, 23. Probably should not. I'm feeling good again, but I probably shouldn't be. Yeah. 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 Just got a bag I'ma blow to I need some space, the O2 And I get the shit that you go through It's probably my fault if I ghost you I push away people I'm close with Won't stand on and stand out on no shit Yeah, we took a pic and I posted I remember the blog I was posted My red ring gon' shine like a glow stick I'm like, can you swallow this whole shit? They riding my wave like an ocean Wait, I can't tell the time on my new Audemars I do this shit, I gon' set me apart Yeah, Girl, I'm a savage, yeah. So I got a bad bitch, stay at the top, yeah we came from the bottom. I got a script from the dark. Yeah, got perky set problems. My haters want me to fuck. Nah, say fucking we ballin'. I don't say shit, but I miss you a lot. Yeah, say fucking I'm callin'. You better pick up the phone when I phone you. I don't go bro, that's the shit that my clones do. I don't show love to a hoe unless I own you. I wanna hold you. Don't always do the shit that I'm supposed to. If I act right with a hoe, she bad. Some things better in the past though. Yeah, but they tryna bust this little bit from the back. Hey, just tryna get my rack. It's alright, I'm a hoe too. You just wanna fuck, wanna get me high Don't talk much, it's slow too Last hole left, she ain't say why Y'all don't really get what I go through I just need space, need O2 Can't say why, but I chose you My new drip finna get me fly Girl, it's alright, I'm a hoe too Just got a bag, I'm a blow too I need some space, the O2 And I get the shit that you go through It's probably my fault if I ghost you I push away people I'm close with Or stand on and stand out on no shit Yeah, we took a pic and I posted I remember the blog I was posted My red ring all shine like a glow stick I'm like, can you swallow this whole shit? They riding my wave like an ocean Wait, I can't tell the time on my new Audemars I do this shit, I gon' set me apart Yeah, Girl, I'm a savage, yeah. So I got a bad bitch, I got
DNs they dart I took her home and I ripped her apart Tried to show love and she ripped on my heart Being around me like I should at the park I smoked a lot of fuck with a cart And I probably fought this shit off from the start I know what you been, I know what you are Still wanna lay with you, stare at the stars I just took a benzo But I just wanna vibe with my friends though And don't put me up in no friend zone But can we still fucking be friends though? Nah Probably not. I'm in the city where they really rob and show you the game, but you really off and shit. It's alright, I'm a hoe too. Just got a bag, I'm a blow through. I need some space, the O2. And I get the shit that you go through. It's probably my fault if I ghost you. I push away people I'm close with. Once that on the stand, I don't know shit. Yeah, we took a pic and I posted. I remember the blog I was posted. My red ring gon' shine like a glow stick. I like how you swallow this whole shit. They riding my wave like an ocean. Wait, I can't tell the time on my new auto bar. I do this shit, I gon' send me a car. How we doing? It's just a bit of bonus content here. Uh, just got an absolutely amazing kit drop from Nike. Look at this. Look at these lifters. The Melos lifters here. Got the pair of Metcons. What's that, Simbi? Getting a kit drop? Look at these. Look at these Miami colours or Whatever it is, they look amazing. We got some peg shields. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Gore-Tex. Keep the feet nice and dry in that wet weather in the UK. What else we got? Oh my god! Another pair of Metcon Freeze. Look at these bad boys. Teal, black, grey. These are awesome. Look at that. Look at them colours. Then last one, what have we got in here? Get these peg turbos. Oh boy. Oh boy. These are fresh. Hey Simbi. Daddy is absolutely kitted out. Oh my days. Being a Nike coach, being a Nike athlete does have its perks man um, I'm looking I'm so looking forward to getting 
trying these Romelos for lifting. Look at these. These are absolute bad boys. Look at that. Look at that. Heel at the back as well for that ankle. Inflexibility like me. I've still got those running ankles where they're not too flexible. So you need that little bit of heel lift to get the get you low in the squats. So yeah, I just thought I'd show you what how you know you get treated at Nike uh, when you're a coach, when you're an athlete at Nike. It is it's so good man, it's so good. So that's why I keep you know performing well at the, the High Rocks events, functional fitness event. It's you know coaching, being on here, you know, just spreading the love and the word about fitness and health, wellness mental health, physical health, um, because that's what they're looking for. They're looking for people who are like, fitness is in their blood, fitness is in their DNA. Um, and not only, you know, performing, like sort of talking the talk, but also walking the walk as well. So it's a really good thing to be part of, the Nike coaching system, the Nike athlete system. Um, I'm super grateful, you know, always kitted out Nike, always kitted out the best of stuff. I wear the vapor flies for, higher rocks as well so you know it's it's just a match made in heaven so yeah i just thought i'd take you show you the i mean the the kit is unreal like you know the metcon nines it's just unlimited unlimited stuff i'm blown away by the support the help the uh, the opportunities that working for nike and being a nike athlete give me and that's why I keep training hard, that's why I'm putting these videos out here to inspire you guys to get after your dreams as well. You know, people are dreaming of being a, a Nike athlete or a Nike coach. Just keep hustling, keep working and, you know, those things will come. Uh, they'll come a-knocking. But yeah, I cannot wait to take those shoes for a spin. <laughs> Alright folks, how are we doing? Back from Blitz CrossFit. Just finished the, this, the, I always keep saying snatches, it's a uh, clean and push jerks and the, the wad, which was the, the body weight sort of uh, squats, push ups, the wall balls in there and yeah, coming back off into the push ups and the squats. It looked, it looked easier than what it was. Um, you could probably see there that I broke up after the push ups, my arms were full of lactic acid, making the wall balls a lot harder. So, you know, I was going to try and push for like 25, 25. But quickly at 20 reps, I thought, right, I'm gonna break this up before I'm doing like sets of three and sets of twos and sets of fives. Um, got this, got the squats done pretty well. Got the the push-ups five by five into the wall balls. Set of 20, like set of 10, set of six and four, and then a set of 10, um, just to sort of keep the the heart rate steady so I don't blow up to then go back onto the push-ups. Push-ups felt super hard on the, the, the set after the wall balls like they were, I think I was doing sets of four there, and then one set of five, I think it was like five sets of four, one set of five. That makes good math, doesn't it? Five sets of four is 20, plus five, 25. Yes, yes. And then just absolutely fucking rinse those squats at the end. Um, I think one of the guys in the gym, you could probably see me pointing, because uh, one of the guys in the gym got one, uh, 7.39 today. He's a fucking, he's an absolute beast. And today I saw the clock and I was like 7.05, 7.10 as I was finishing up my squats and I'm like, I'm gonna fucking get this. I get super, super competitive when it comes to the wads and comes to putting my time up on the board and measure myself, um, like again, basically measure myself against myself but against others at the same time. Um, I get 7, 7.28, so 7.28 for, if you wanna try it, 75 squats, make sure you go below parallel, good, reps, push-ups, chest hits the bloody ground, good reps, wall balls, get it above the line and then back into those push-ups and back into those squats, see if you can beat 7 minutes and 28 seconds, if you can, comment down below and then we need to work out together because then, you know, challenge accepted. Um, right, so, anyway, I'm about to head to work, I'm just uh, in the gym just now, about to uh, start my day. Um, get clients from 11am all the way through to 9.30 tonight, this evening. So we just got to put that time in, got to make that money, pay them bills to live that London lifestyle. And uh, yeah, well, uh, I guess hopefully you enjoyed this one. Uh, put a bit more of a, a longer workout in there to see exactly what I'm doing. Sometimes I, I do, I, I like to cut quite a lot, um, but I guess it's like, you know, people's attention span. You don't know if you want to cut too much or you want to cut too little because people's attention goes a wee bit all over the place. Like I think I think human beings are now competing with fish 
for the longest, the well, the, sorry, the shortest attention span. I think fish actually have a longer attention span than human beings these days because of reels and gifts and all these sort of like short, quick, we can't even stay in a fucking story for 15 seconds. We think that's a lifetime. So yeah, you're having to cut, snip, zoom in, zoom out, oh, you name it, man. It's, uh, aye, it's a racket, but hey, I'm doing this for you guys, helping you learn about what I'm doing to get myself ready for London, High Rocks, as you know, I've pulled out of Glasgow. I'm doing Athexo on the 13th of April. We've got um, three rep max shoulder overhead, five rep max deadlift. We've got a cardio piece, we've got a Metcon piece. I'm gonna be showing you that through the uh, through the YouTube channel. Um, because not only am I a High Rocks athlete, but I'm also a hybrid athlete. Like I like to be able to be ready for anything, whether that be, you know, double unders, chest to bars, handstand push-ups, pushing a sledge, you know, running 8, 8K, Whatever it may be, I want to be ready for anything. So it's that hybrid lifestyle. And what comes with that is that you're basically, you're married to nothing, but you're married to everything. So I really hope you enjoyed the channel. Give it a thumbs up, give it a like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell, ding a ling a ling ling ling, for the notifications that I put up a new, a new video. One will be coming up around what we're on today, we're on Thursday today. One will probably hopefully popping up on Monday from my Sunday workout. Uh, since I'm, I, I can, I'm slowly getting to understand what I can do and what I can't do, I'll be starting to make those videos again. I just was in a wee bit of a low place. Uh, I was in a wee bit of a sort of, I was feeling sorry for myself, that all, all that bullshit. But now we're back, we're focused. We know what we need to do. Let's get it. Have a great day, folks. Have a great week. And I'll see you on the other side.